growing up, I think it's important that you be rooted in our community, that you understand what makes Kauai special and unique. I assume that most of you will go on to higher education and many of you will find that there are much better economic opportunities somewhere else in the United States or maybe even in the world. But I want wherever you go to remember where you came from, that this is your island. We're the most remote island group anywhere in the world, surrounded by thousands of miles of ocean in every direction. And yet even out here on the island of Kauai, we're seeing some pretty tremendous pressures on our community. I got involved in this um, organization in 1976 as an intern, but my understanding of this organization actually preceded that because as I, when I was growing up, I was what we call, quote, a challenging teenager. I didn't have a clear idea in my mind what I wanted to do. And I was very fortunate to have been exposed to some great role models. This is an incredible organization. This was dreamed into existence, literally dreamed into existence by people who believed in the need for a national organization that would focus on preserving tropical plants. We have 120 employees. We are the world's largest collection of rare and endangered plants. Because for many of us that grew up here, being able to work outside, being able to work with plants is awesome. Somebody told me the other day that 30% of the employees, we have 120 employees, 30% of them were former interns at the garden. So in a way, we're about, not just about growing plants, we're about growing people. I hope that you folks will really be able to hold on to that wherever you end up. Might be on the mainland, might be international. Wherever you end up, I hope you remember what made this island so special when you were growing up. And think about in your life some way to give back to it, some way to make it special. One of the things that makes us totally unique in the world is the fact we have this incredible, what we call a living collection. These are the living plants. We have over 6,000 species of plants growing in this valley alone. That's an incredible chunk of what we call biodiversity, you know, representation of all different kinds of, of plant and life forms growing down here in the garden. And so in our herbarium right here, we have cabinets and cabinets with over 58,000 different sheets and each sheet represents a different plant that our collectors have found and, and many of them are new species that our collectors have discovered. Many of those plants that we have in our herbarium are now extinct in the wild. And yet those herbarium sheets have a complete record of that plant. All of the DNA that was in that plant is still there. All of the chemical archives that are in that plant are still there. So if you're doing research on trying to determine new drugs or new, new medicines and things like that, the herbarium becomes invaluable. If you folks are really interested in a career in horticulture or botany or ethnobotany, our staff would be more than happy to meet with you and talk about how we can help um, help you make some decisions and, and what kinds of programs, especially at our community college and at the University of Hawaii that you might be interested in. share my experience. I had an opportunity to go away to school and um, I'm glad I did. Now, I gotta remember this is back in the 70s okay and so you know back then going away to school was pretty spooky. Uh, in fact that was the first time I really left left the left the state and I went to a school called the University of Pacific in Stockton and uh, it's in California. It's in the, the San Joaquin Valley which is like the Central Valley uh, in Northern California and all I can say is I learned so much not only about myself, but about just life in general. But the, the best thing that happened to me was that I, I started to appreciate home. I've been married for over 26 years, and uh, I have four children. 
My oldest is 25, my second is 22, my third is 19, and my fourth is 15. So she's a sophomore, you guys are juniors. And so I had, you know, I've, I've got a little bit of experience in raising children uh, and dealing with children. Uh, boy, girl, boy, girl. So I got boys and I got girls, so both genders. Uh, but I got a rule in my house. You gotta go away. You gotta leave the state. You gotta go. You know, home is home. You'll, you'll, never, you'll never forget your roots. You'll know where home is. But the opportunity to go away and, and learn and, and see what it's like, uh, that's invaluable. And because I, I really treasure education and I, and I want you to know that uh, for me, education is the key. It's the key to unlocking everything in your lives. No question about it. You know, you're all leaders anyway. Every single one of you are leaders, and you're leaders simply because every single one of you, you have this circle of influence around you. Whether it's here in this group, whether it's home, uh, if, you, if you're in athletics, clubs, organizations, class, school, whatever it is, you all have a circle of influence. And so your actions influence someone. And because your actions are influencing someone, you're a leader. And you gotta remember that, you model behavior. When people look at your behavior, they look at how you speak, they look at how you dress, they look at how you, how you, how you discuss stuff, how you resolve conflict. Character is defined for me as to basically what are you gonna do when nobody's looking. If you're in a classroom and you're taking a test, and it just so happens nobody's in that room and the answers to the test are right next to you are you going to take that piece of paper and copy it down or are you going to do it on your own and that's what character is all about what do you do when nobody's looking those of you going away when you go to the states you take the spirit of aloha with you and you impart it on our brothers and sisters up in the mainland and let them know what it's all about and what Hawaii is all about. I'm just hoping that this message can get to you. Like I said, I'm not, I'm not trying to intimidate you in any way. I just give you these facts straight, straight on. So you all need to be the trendsetters. Leadership Choir has given us a lot of opportunities that we know we probably wouldn't have had just by ourselves, so really thank them. Leadership Choir is just a great program. I would tell people to do it. I'm gonna tell people to do it, actually. I thought it was really informative. I thought he came with a lot of knowledge and he was like willing to share it with us. I thought it was really good. He was really right to the point, like he didn't like mess around. It was good. I yeah. liked it. And he spoke towards us as kind of as equals, I think. He didn't really like act like he was better than us, which sometimes happens when you're a kid. Yeah. yeah, I thought he, um, this was really genuine and sincere and we're really lucky that we got to, um, to meet with someone did that important, you know, makes yeah. us feel really important as students. A lot of people feel that they can't do anything just as an individual, but even just in our leadership Kauai group with only 18 people or something, we managed to get a pole Holly restoration project and everything, so just mm -hmm. one or a few small group of people can make a difference. Mm -hmm.